My, if I got something special for me and thee today, folks. I'm cracking into this Edredour 12 year old cast strength single cask, 57.3% ABV, Sherry Bomb, Sherry Monster, you call it whatever you like. So, without any further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> folks and welcome back to the whiskey friend with me alan wow great to be back i've had a couple of weeks off well i have had a couple of weeks off just trying some more whiskey sharing some stuff out time is to get back into the whiskey now and come back with another review and boy have i come back with a special one today this is edra Dour, 12 year old single cast cast strength 2006 Vintage, don't know if that's yet, yeah, 2006. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of info off the bottle. This beautiful Abisco decanter. What a, the weight in this is just awesome. So this was distilled 1610-2006 and bottled in 29-5-2019. So it makes it a 12-year-old. Cask number 346 for all you geeks out there. And it was 685 bottles, so I'm presuming that's possibly a punching, sherry punching. But yeah, 57.3. It's been sitting in the glass now for a half an hour. Being looked after my trusty coin number one. Great news coming up on the coins, guys. Batch one is now completely sold out. And batch two is, I'm just waiting for them to arrive in the mail. New look, new design. Uh, I have posted some images on Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, Twitter. Uh, if you have caught them, then great. They are available for pre-order, guys. If if you've ordered them before and you want your same number, just drop me a little email. Uh, AlanWilson15 at sky.com uh, Got a few more this time. I've ordered a couple of hundred this time, so I'm, I'm waiting patiently to get rid of these. So, without any further ado, guys, I'm bringing back something special. I think some of the guys have missed it because I've had some comments telling me. You know what it is, guys. Yeah, the housekeeping's coming back. So, if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you very much and welcome back. If you've so happened to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, you may want to click that subscribe button. It's just down below. Yes, friendly reminder from me to thee guys. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. And you're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 3K. Checking back on my YouTube analytics. It's telling me 40% of my regular viewers haven't quite hit that subscribe button. So what are you waiting for guys? It's just down there. Get clicking. Uh, so... The whiskey. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit excited. Uh, I'm back on the sherry. This is probably a sherry bomb, sherry monster, sherry explosion. Whatever you like. But I've had a couple of drams of it. I did do a little live stream. Well, a long live stream last week. Six hours, 43 minutes. If I get a chance, I'll pop a link up above and you, you may want to go back and have a look, guys. Little piece of advice, take it in stages. If you've got 6 hours and 43 minutes, then do it all in the one go. But I'll pop a link above, guys, so if you want to check it out. I did it with Neil at the Whiskey Trials. Neil had a bottle. I had a bottle, so we did a little bit of comparison. So, I'm ready to review this one. So, yeah, Ed Redour. Beautiful little spot in Pit Lockery. Uh, it's a Highland whiskey. Look at that colour. How dark is that? That is just awesome. First fill, sherry. Dark as hell. Wow. It's one of those bottles. It's this beautiful Abisco bottle. I see. I've been searching around for probably the last few weeks just trying to pick one up. Managed to do it. Don't worry, guys. I know they're all single casks, but there's always another one coming along. 
So if you want to get them, yes, it's a little bit pricey, it's about 100, I think I paid £110 for it. So yeah, for a 12 year old, it's a tough deal, but guys, once when, when you taste this, you'll know exactly why it's £110. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to nose it, I'm going to taste it, I'm going to score it. I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I might pour another one after it. So yeah, so without any further ado, guys, so on the nose. Wow, sherry, sherry, sherry. Beautiful sherry, but it's it's rich. It's, it smells like it's a rich sherry. That first fill is obviously a big factor, but it's not it's not as fruity as I thought it was going to be. It's got that typical Edradour character. It's 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 damp. It's dirty. I'm picking up. As I did in a couple other Edra deals that I've done, I'm picking up those old mechanics overalls. You think that would smell horrible, but it's it's something I'm getting used to now, and I, and I think I'm beginning to quite like it. So I might buy myself some old mechanics overalls and maybe wear them every now and again just to see if I can replicate this smell. But yeah, no, it's beautiful. Big big sherry arrival. It's massive to be fair. It's enormous. It's fruity, but it's not fresh fruit, it's that dirty fruit. Lots of red berries, lots of red fruits. Wow. Lots of dried fruit. It is fruity, but it's not a it's not like a fruit basket. It's just you know the fruits are there. Prunes, dates, figs, plum, raisin, they're all they're all there. And as you delve into it, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful nose. It's a complex nose. It's got some really, really thick, thick legs. I don't know if the camera can pick them up, but those are super thick. They're taking their time to come down that glass. So I'm presuming this is going to be very oily, very thick. Wow, it's just absolutely incredible. So now I'm getting a really nice toffee note. Dark, hard, co hard toffee. Vanilla, caramel, butterscotch, beautiful butterscotch note. In fact, the butterscotch is holding its own with the sherry. The sherry is just coating it throughout. It's all the way through there. Big, big raisin. Lovely minty note as well, a little bit minty. That minty might even be bogging, and I'm not sure if it's minty or it might even be kind of licorice. Maybe a black licorice. Licorice, I don't know, it's... Wow. Really, really nice. It's gone a little bit nutty now, so it's all going on in this glass. Lovely orange peel. Yeah, some almonds, some hazelnuts. A little bit of spice in the background. And dread to say it, it's like that kind of, it's got that kind of Christmas cake note as well. There are always maybe some cherries, some raisins, some sultanas maybe. I think it's got that nice icing note on top as well. So yeah, it's just, it's like Christmas cake in a glass. So, I'm going to dive in, taste it, I'm salivating here. I've been looking all for all, all day, looking forward all day to get into this review. Purely just, I was being a wee bit selfish. I just wanted to try this again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. So I'll cover the color. The color is just incredible. It's probably like a real, real dark copper color. Dark, dark, maybe a dark ruby. Real, real dark. Awesome. But. Let's taste it. Cheers. Oh my good God. Wow. I know I say wow quite a bit, guys, but this is purely... This is wow. I've got a friend called the Dram Yankees. He's told me to try a new word. Then if it's... If I say this word, they'll know what I mean. But Jerry, this is stupid whiskey. Um, wow, 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 where do you start? 
Whew, I know what I'm going to start. I'm going to try some more. Whew, okay, folks. Juicy. Chewy. Mouth watering. Teeth coating. It's a little bit dry on arrival. It's so dirty. It's so fizzy. So it's spicy, it's hot. Wow. And that's that's just on the arrival. I've not even got anywhere near a development yet because it's still arriving. Wow. So oily, so thick. It's gone a little bit fizzy, a little bit sherbetty. But wow. Sherry's there. Vanilla's there, toffee's there. Big in fact it's a big vanilla. Big vanilla note. Those dried fruits are all over the place. You've got your dates, your figs, your raisins, plum. I think the plums give me the juicy bits like a juicy plum, but the rest of it's dried. Those red berries are there, those red fruits are there. It's toffee, it's caramel. Wow, this is complex. Let me just try another sip, guys. Wow. Wow, wee man. Fruity, dirty, dry, spicy. All the above are all there. Beautiful sherry flavour. It's so rich in flavour. Lots of sherry flavours. It's fruity, but it's not a kind of fresh fruit. It's more a kind of dirty, dried. It's definitely chewy. It's hot and spicy. So, I've not tried this with water yet, guys, but I know this is going to take water beautifully. It might just take a little bit of the heat off, so it'd be really, really interesting to find out. But I know this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to do the water on my own. So, no water for the whiskey friend today. It's dirty. Those overalls are there. Definitely, the, it's that kind of diesel, dunnage. Dirty, damp, dank. Picking up a little bit of tropical fruit now, maybe. Some little bit of tropical. But, wow. This this is this is not a whiskey, guys, for the faint-hearted. So if you're new to your whiskey journey, then this is not the place to start. I'd maybe start maybe on the Edredour 10. Uh, I have the... Let's just stretch up here. I have the... Caledonia, I probably wouldn't even start on the Caledonia, I'd probably start on the 10 and work your way up, um, but it's just incredible stuff, uh, definitely not for the faint hearted, let me try some more, wow, that Edredour character's there, this, this is what I'd probably, I've had a few names, I've named a few whiskies in the past, I've named the Dangerous Dram, I've probably named the perfect dram. This is going to be hardcore. This is hardcore whiskey. God, it's close to perfect. So it's hardcore perfect whiskey. And I think once I finish this video, it's going to be dangerous whiskey as well because I'm going to dive straight back into some more. Yeah, a little bit of tropical fruit. This is, it's challenging guys. It's a real challenging whiskey. Wow, absolute hardcore. It's yeah, it's about a hundred hundred pound. I think I paid a hundred and ten pound for it, which is is a lot for a twelve year old cast strength, guys. But if you ever get a chance to try this whiskey, don't worry, guys. This is this is a two thousand and six vintage, six hundred and eighty five bottles. But I know Edredour produced quite a lot of these, so another one will come along just behind it. So don't. Try to rush out and get stitched up on the secondary market. You can, you can pick these up. Wow, absolutely incredible. Let me just do a little bit for the finish, guys. Okay, folks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. On the finish, it's a little bit dry. It's got that nice little dryness there. It's not super dry, but it's it's got a nice, beautiful dryness. It's tannic. Picking up some tannins. That licorice is there on the finish. But it's also there as well as a real, as you're really heading into that finish, the tobacco note comes in. It's not smoky, it's just that, 
I, I keep mixing up coffee and tobacco, and I think this has got a wee mix of both. So there's a tiny little tobacco note on the finish there, and there's definitely a big coffee note on the finish. So all in all, guys, this is what a, what a wonderful whiskey. I'm really thankful that I've got this. I'm going to have some fun with it. I'm going to have some fun drinking it. I'm going to have some fun shaping it, uh, sharing it. Look at that bottle, man. Look at the cork it's on this. Look at that. Massive stopper. But, wow. Beautiful little decanter. Fancy, fantastic. So heavy. It's like the whiskey. The whiskey's heavy. It's damp. It's dirty. It's got everything. It's rich. It's full flavoured. It's beautifully balanced. This has got everything, guys. So, what would I score it? This is a tough one. I would score this easily a 94 out of 100. Uh, it's a hundred pound, well, hundred to hundred and twenty pound a bottle, so it's a tough price for a twelve-year-old. But I think anybody that buys it, anybody that's tried it, please fire into the comments, guys. Let me know if you've had a hold of one of these. What you think of it? Do you agree with me? Is it worth a hundred and ten pounds? Wow, I think it's worth a hundred and ten pounds. So yeah, ninety-four out of a hundred. That's me guys, I'm going to get out, I'm going to just pour myself another, not to share with you guys, but I'm going to just sit back here and pour another one of these and just enjoy the beautiful whiskey. This is why I do this, to pick up these little gems, like that little gem, uh, Scotland's little gem. So, that's me, over to you guys. Dive into the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't feel shy. Don't just watch the video and not leave a comment. If you've managed to come this far, then just let me know. Drop a comment in. Do you like the whiskey? Do have you tried Edredour before? It's one of those little oh, under the radar distilleries, but I think it's becoming, it's creating a big name for itself because it's putting out absolutely spectacular whiskies right through the range now. There's good, there's great stuff coming out. So yeah, dive in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys, don't forget to hit the like button, click the subscribe, all that, leave a comment, YouTube loves it, gets the channel noticed, and until the next time guys, the last thing to see is, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you all very very soon, cheers now, bye bye.